Exclusive Kate Heron, Loki director, in talks with Star Trek Project. Our sources have let us know that Kate Heron, the acclaimed director from Loki and Sex Education, may soon be directing a Star Trek show or film. How's it going out there, everybody? This is WFS, your doctor, and I want to dwell or dive into this project of Star Trek. It's going to be interesting to see if this is even pulled off or even if it's a good idea. When we get deeper into the article, you're going to find out some things that I just think are quite bizarre for this. First of all, before we go further, if you could do me a favor and click the like and subscribe, that would be greatly appreciated. The more subscribers I have, the better I can improve things for and, and content related. So let's get on to this article here. I mean, because it's definitely interesting, and I'm not sure what your take on this is going to be, but believe me, it's definitely a new idea. The woman who brought us... Disney Plus's Loki may soon deliver stories from the United Federation of Planets. Thanks to our trusted and proven sources, we can report that Kate Heron is in talks to helm an upcoming Star Trek project. We don't yet know the nature of the project, but we have some pretty good guesses. Ooh, are you ready, my friends? For one, we recently learned Paramount is in development is developing a horror series set in Trek universe, inspired by Alan Films, while Kate Heron's time on Loki wasn't particularly horror cinematic. There are plenty of signs. It's a genre she would love to help Star Trek tackle. One of the latest projects she worked on was the horror anthology comic Skybound Presents after school with her writing partner, Bryony Redmond. My God, people, there it is. They are talking about a Star Trek horror film or horror TV show. Forgive me, I may be out of line here, but they already did a Star Trek horror show. Wasn't it called Star Trek Picard? I mean, it was kind of a horror to watch that. Her directorial experience in the genre may not yet be extensive, but she did direct an episode of the post-apocalyptic black comedy Daybreak. Judging by Kate Hammond's Instagram account, she clearly is a horror fan, so the prospect of making a Star Trek horror show could very well be a dream project. Oh my god, people. A dream project on Star Trek of a horror. You know, right now, I just imagine Gene Roddenberry is just rolling over in his grave. The skeleton is spinning. Ruined! Ruined! You bastards! My story! You've ruined it! Along with using it to help promote Hannah Rehan's Bodies, 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 Heron's Instagram has a surprising number of posts featuring a doll one of the most infamous creatures from Gremlins, including in one of her pine posters. And there's our buddy, Stripes. Yep, Gremlins, for its time, was one hell of a movie. But uh, trying to tell me you're going to make a Star Trek, <laughs> maybe with something like stripes a gremlin type character pod people or maybe aliens that pop out of your chest that's definitely interesting and that would be sci-fi wouldn't it now this part here is definitely very interesting there is also the potential return of kate mcgrew to the role of katherine janeway in a star trek picard like rival series particularly all year the orange is the new black star has been teasing such a project with her former co-star like robert picardo chiming in with the with his with their support with both a female lead and the franchise head helmed prioritiz, prioritiz excuse me prioritization board hiring female directors a woman director would be a no-brainer for a janeway series and who better than an acclaimed creator like kate henron to make the star trek janeway what do you guys think out there? I mean, do you think this is a good project? Do you think uh, Giant Freaking Robot is maybe reaching a little bit here? 
it's hard to say whether this is a good idea or not. I'm just not sure because Star Trek has been, as far as I'm concerned, between Star Trek Discovery, Star Trek Picard, it's been kind of a train wreck. Only only time will tell what Picard Season 3 is going to be like, but so far they have serious problems and Paramount's stock is tanking. They keep even throwing the idea that maybe there'll be another Star Trek 4 movie which keeps saying, hey, we're delayed, we're on, we're delayed, we're on. But then we got to go back to the financial situation of it all. Paramount is bleeding money. And when you deal with bad robot, which really is a bad robot, Kurtzman and J.J. Abrams have done some serious damage to this franchise. And I just don't know. Maybe a horror film, maybe, or, or even a horror story, Star Trek TV series may bring people in that just isn't there right now. I'm not sure, but they've got to do something because I think Star Trek is on its last breath here, people. I really think that. Okay, well, I'm going to end the article right here because I've pretty much said what I want to say about this. As I said, there's not much more to be said here. These are all rumors and conjecture what may be going on with this possible series. Janeway in a horror show. That would be interesting. But like I said, I'm going to end the video here and I really would love to hear your comments on this. Tell me what you think. Is this a good idea? Star Trek the horror series. That's definitely something to take a look at, I guess. I'm WFS, your doctor, and please Comment below and click the subscribe button if you like what you see here, my friends. And until the next time, God bless.